Hello, tacticians and strategists, fleet commanders and the Viper pilots. Welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing Hardball. Many thanks for your comments, guys. I especially like the one Hunt-Packed Road. Um, and it is an intriguing idea, actually, to have a fleet made up of seven Atlas carriers. And I think I want to do that. So, let's see. It will take a while to build those. Um, but... We will do that, I think, if we can manage it somehow. So, and now it is Heimerich's turn. And the Cylons are stronger than we are. So, let's see what, yeah, what will happen. Yeah, well, and well, I do admit it was uh, in the last mission, it was my mistake, of course, uh, to fly, you know, through the flight path of all the missiles. Um, well, it's as simple as that. So here, we I think we need to do the hit and run again. Yeah, and speaking of hit and run, so with these Atlas carriers, I mean, I, I've never played them so far, obviously. Um, but I believe that they will cause us to see um, a lot of very very hard fighting because we can't really run away so we need to my thing would be to to keep them like back here but uh, otherwise just sending the vipers in and then having some really hard fights and this this will surely be very nail biting and fun um but yeah you probably remember what i said before like I'm not sure, maybe like 30 episodes ago or something. Uh, I personally don't think that this, that this is going to work well and not in the long term. Um, because if the Cylons come in like with four revenants or something and they just boost forward, they will... I don't think the Vipers, even like this massive amount of Vipers and Raptors that can shoot their missiles, although only unguided missiles um, that we will have the offensive power to blow them out of the sky before they reach the Atlas carrier um, and blow it out of the sky or significantly weaken it. So my estimate is that uh, those battles will be very, very costly in terms of Tilium and also in terms of a very high risk. Yeah, but we'll see. So I do like the idea of having all these huge buckets uh, in space and send in a huge, huge swarm of uh, little fighters uh, towards the enemy. <coughs> there will cer certainly be a spectacular. I'm not entirely certain if it will be um, such a good idea, but we'll see. So, and I, yeah, that's as simple as that. But maybe, do you guys know the X series? Yes, that's also space battles, but more real time, of course. Where you have a where you are a pilot, you can uh, actually um, command any type of ship that you see in the game. Yes, commander. Yeah, ranging from small fighters to huge battleships, also carriers and stuff. So that's like really cool. Uh, I, and I played X3 back in the day, a couple of years ago, on an old computer. And I actually want to check it out again, but I don't have the time for that right now because you might have seen and noticed that uh, I bit off a bit more than I can chew. Launching yes, squadrons. Sir. All elements, launching squadrons. Launching fighters. Um, so I bit off a bit more than I could chew. We are in, uh, starting the turn now. In terms of the number of games that I am actually actively playing at the moment, yeah, and I don't want to have too long breaks. Oh, it looks so good. That looks so good. And I don't want to have such long breaks there. Um, so what I want is to finish a couple of games first, and then we will look into X3 again. But I actually, I want to buy the newest one as well at some point. So we are boosting away from here. Oh, yes, no, sir. no, 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 no. On it, Commander. What happened? 
just like this. You guys. We have not identified an enemy, unfortunately. So let's boost like so. We are going low. Yeah, and I think the security, the distance of security is sufficient. Let's move here. Yeah, and that's all that we can do right now. The Mnemosyne, Mnemosyne, Mnemosyne. Well, you know, the thing is, how do you say it correctly in English? But no one really knows how it has been pronounced back in the day. But I mean, it's the English, uh, the English uh, name of the Greek goddess Hostile anyway. Unit so identified. The, the Greek name uh, will be different uh, anyway. So we've got two Arachnes. Nothing else identified, which is not so good, but well. And the core punch out. Rendezvous with the Vipers. Move it here, guys. And then our ships all transfer all available energy to the weapon systems, prioritizing missile tubes. Targeting Arachne. Fire. 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 So this here is a regular Arachne and that one also. Okay, so no elite to be seen right now. Radar prototypes. All radar prototypes. Okay, so they do have uh, the advantage though. So my thinking is our Manticore is boosting towards our ships. We can actually fly pretty straight ahead, which is actually good. Um, yes, sir. And then we will fly into the, the path of our ships. Well, and we had the super sandwich in the beginning because last time we were also pulling it off actually nicely to draw the enemy in. And into our gunfire uh, gunfire range so let's see ending the turn now let's go here turn yeah, and uh, like with the atlas carriers i also certainly agree that the chef will be um, vital to use chef and to defend with chef against missiles that come in however the problem is of course that uh, the atlas carriers will be identified either by raiders that came up yeah so that means we have either lost the dogfight or they broke through um so i i believe that once the enemy is close enough to the carriers then the battle is probably lost yeah but we'll see We'll see. So, so missiles on the way. You guys fly here. You guys fly high. And by the way, let's increase energy to the thrusters. Flying even higher. You guys do the same. Flying low, like so. So say we all. Aligning. Well, you go full attack. We do have the time. Focusing fire there. And then we are shooting at this Arachne here as well, just to make sure that it's out of our sky. So here we go. Missiles on the way. Ending the turn. Turning in. Nice. I love it. I love it. And all the missiles on the way. Yes, very good. Armor piercers ahead. Oh, and we can actually, we did shoot them. Oh, we shot 10 radar prototypes out of the sky already. Very nice. Nemusini. Very nice indeed. But now we are boosting, showing them our backside. You guys, it doesn't look like they identified us. Well, 
let's have you fly like so. Yes, sir. And then the two rangers the line over here fly in like so. Go a bit lower like so. There. Super sandwich formation. And then I hope that we can uh, draw the raiders that are like on a pearl string behind us. Follow us there. So actually let's Yes, Commander. Just like so. There we go. And then we are just mocking them. Haha, <laughs> you can't catch us. Ending the turn. The little toasters, you can't catch us. There. That is a bit unfortunate. Oh, yeah, well, we are hitting the left side. Uh, oh, yeah, but it looks good. Looks good. We do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven missiles left. Front and left are through. Seven missiles. That should be enough damage for 22 remaining hull points. So every missile does six, right? So then here, you guys are just flying straight ahead. Yeah, let's boost actually. Boost like so. Rangers. Boost as well. Oh. Eh? We didn't we didn't go to the maximum, but well, anyway. You eh. shoot them some more again. Flying like here. How's our range? Eh. Sorry. Yeah. That's pretty good. Just flying straight ahead, so very nice. And well, I guess like next turn we will be we will shoot them. So yeah, let's move forward like so, and there. They shouldn't be able to keep up with us. Yeah, that's just fine. Like this. Ending the turn. There's no miracle happening for the Arachne, very nice. And we are sniping the raiders out of space. Oh, they got a bit close there though. So let's boost forward. And now all our other ships, they are ready for the next strike. So all energy to the weapon systems again. Rangers, don't mess around like this. Coming in like so. Focusing fire. Missiles. Target the remaining Arachne. And the Vipers prepare an ambush, but not just yet. And actually, I'd like you guys to lean in a bit. Yes, like sir. So. Well, the Rangers, yeah, you guys can do that too, right? Yeah, that's good. And now we are even better aligned there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. We are watching the missiles leaving their tubes. Ending the turn. Aligning ships, firing missiles. Very nice indeed, very nice indeed. Curtain. Curtain of missiles. We did, we did not shoot at them though, but yeah, now it's actually time. All ships. The lining.
And let's actually, let's have the battle star. Shoot at this one here. There. Manticore. Go full attack again. And we are shooting all missiles at this Arachne as well. Will you guys lurk here and then we will actually attack them from three sides. One attack vector from our capital ships. The Manticore will shoot straight ahead and the Vipers will attack them from the right flank. So ending the turn. Yeah, good. Nice sniping there. Oh, there are they actually shoot or are they flying towards the vipers there that's actually that's not what i wanted they are not done yet okay on it commander so let's fly like so all ships coming around like this oh yeah well okay it was a mistake not to focus fire with the Battle star, but well, you guys can attack them, and you, you fly actually like one more, one more turn in this direction, like so. Hope they are not they, the the raiders uh, are not starting to shoot at us, but should be fine, right? So, and then missiles on the way. That is a nasty curtain that should cause some stress. There they are. Ending the turn. No good, they are not shooting at us. Good, the Viper has turned around quickly enough, but we do have a very nice crossfire between... Oh yeah, no, they are shooting at us now. Oh yeah, very good. And now... Carol ships. Understood. Engaging the second. Manticore also shoots at the second squad while all vipers wipe out well this guy only has one point so you guys also squadron attack this target one. is confirmed but you two go on the first one squadron so. target is confirmed and that should mess them up nicely Yeah, actually, you can shoot this one here. And the Arachne is exploding back there. Very good. Because our missiles were confusing them. The missiles we shot from the Mnemosyne. Mnemosyne? Mnemosyne? And the turn. They are very good. They are gone. Fighter Arachne is, is exploding fire. in the background. Very good. Our Vipers are attacking them while the Raiders are being attacked from the flank. Excellent. And we've wiped out all of them except two squadrons that remain. However, yeah, well, but one of our squadrons got hit as well, but that's fine. That was to be expected. You guys shoot back there turn around now so say we all like so let's have like you guys we are all shooting back there so you four attack them you 17 as well or let's actually let's have one attack them yes that sir might, that might confuse them so all right and it's actually time for the next salvo already. Very nice indeed. However, there is no target to shoot the missiles at, which is bad. But well, let's concentrate here on these guys first, and then we are sending the Vipers back. And turn. Dogfight. Oh yeah, they are turning towards the ships, but they have one Viper squadron on the tails. Very good. Question is, did they identify us? Did they do that? You, Vipers, now that we are so close to the ship, recall. Squadron. 
the others fly towards yeah or let's actually let's already use some targets you guys fly towards this one you fly towards that one yes sir you fly towards this one and you fly towards that one all right so there we go all cable ships it was rather smooth wasn't it boost forward but remain in formation because that's better for shooting missiles manticore fly like so and <laughs> well we can't shoot any missiles so like let's fly like so <coughs> Ending the turn. Nice movement in space. Oh no, the enemy is shooting missiles. Repeat, missiles in the sky. Cylon missiles in the sky. And yeah, well. So these three here seem to be the Arachnes. Are you guys? You were supposed to land already. Uh, I guess landing on boosting ships is kind of difficult, but they, I'm not sure what they were, where they are targeting at. But possibly our battle star. Um, let me just check something. So the the flak damage. It's like here, like that. Okay, so let's be defensive then. Turning in, like so. Adamant. No, don't boost. Oh. Adamant, stop boosting. Pl change of plans. But we are actually... We are flying higher and the, the rangers will fly like so and then we will see what kind of target they have or oh, the manticore is flying here yes, like so and you guys go defensive for the reticon there and well you guys actually as well That should reduce the number of missiles a bit. But the others identify their targets. Okay, so ending the turn. Yeah, okay, that's a revenant. Missiles flying in. Towards. Yeah, it looks very much like the Reticon. Missiles incoming! Okay, good. So Reticon, all energy to flag. Activating flag on the right. And bam. So there we go. Yeah, it looks very much like the Reticon here. Good. Adamants and Rangers. All energy to the weapon systems. Target Arachne over there. You guys do the same, but turn around like so. Targeting the front. Frontal Revenant shooting missiles at the Arachne. Everybody target. The Revenant, you guys just stay here. Adamants, staying above the Reticon, but not too far, not too high. You shoot your missiles at the Arachne. No, not that Arachne. This Arachne. Turn around a bit like that. There we go. Now you two. Yeah, actually, let's actually attack this Iraq. Yes, here. sir. So in our remaining squadron, well, they're at 5-8 now. Yeah, we should actually repair, like, 
That's the hangar. Techno, it's the tech bay. No, what is actually repairing our... What is repairing our... Vipers, I wonder. Squadron repair, there it is. Okay, oh yeah, so it's also defensive. Oh yeah, well... Yeah, we want to have the missiles in the sky, so we remain full um, full attack mode. And the next turn, <coughs> we go defensive, I think. But if we are lucky, we will explode the uh, additional Arachne over there. So, however, our missiles from the Artemis are not going, uh, going live right now. So, ending the turn. Yeah, they're good. Flag wall, very good. Missed two missiles now. New Cylon missiles on the way. Yeah. So, the Raticon is pretty much locked down now. Well, I think it's, yeah, it can't be prevented now. You guys just use your forward guns on this one. And now, fire at will. So Going say like we so. are. All missiles are there, all pointed at the reticon, I think. You guys, yeah, it's still five. So you go full repair. All hands uh, on deck. Oh, all hands on deck. Helena, well. She sounded a bit agitated there. All of you guys here are still on that Arachne. Our missiles on the way. You go here, shoot this one as well. Yeah, and actually... <clears throat> so, what I wanted to try here is uh, if it's really feasible to return a Viper. I mean, it was so close, that's why I wanted, it to, wanted to do it. Uh, usually it's not worth it, I think, like to fly back like for several turns and stuff. But here we were so close, that's why I thought it would be uh, prudent to do so. I probably should have used the element in defensive uh, mode already. But it doesn't look worth it, and now we will not be able to shoot so well at the Revenant, either. Which is not so good. And we have to turn on the active mode now. We need to shoot them. Yeah. Actually, come on. We need to launch the Vipers. Shouldn't have returned them. But I think the advantage to shoot them is higher than to repair the Vipers. So... Okay, that's it. Yeah, a bit unfortunate, but well. We're shooting the next missiles from the Rangers into this Revenant. So let's end the turn. Yep, they are shooting at us already. Okay, our artillery has them now. Most missiles are being intercepted now, very good. Oh yeah, very good. Now all of them have been intercepted and we destroyed the first Revenant. That's actually excellent. Rangers shoot missiles at this Revenant. Everyone concentrate fire on the second Revenant. By the way, do we have any elite Cylons around? Oh, there's one elite Cylon there. One, one Arachne is elite. Okay. Manticore. Yeah, you meant the Manticore can actually shoot over there. So say we all. At this Arachne. Doesn't look like we are exploding it, which is a bit unfortunate. What's the situation here? Our Vipers are not very effective. You guys attack the Viper. Actually, you can do the front and left. You can actually attack this one then. Yeah. Okay. No more missiles flying. Switching off luck. 
And then we are actually shooting our missiles into this one here. Bad. Good. And our red si right side is at 50, which is not ideal. We need to turn around soon. Or actually, even now. Yeah, let's turn around now. Like this. This is early enough to turn around. Yeah. It's a bit messy ending the turn. A bit messy there. Okay, oh yeah, well, but now they did shoot their missiles. Okay, well. Missiles incoming! Okay. But we can intercept some of them by further. So say we all. On the left, flag on the left. The Arachne has been shot up sufficiently. This one. Oh yeah, this net revenant is destroyed now as well. Excellent. We shoot at that one. Wasted the missiles, but it's fine. Let's focus fire on the Revenant while our adamants blow this Arachne out of the sky and the Manticore is still focusing on them. Good. The Vipers chewed through this Arachne. You Vipers attack that Arachne. Understood. Yeah. Here. Sharp left. Yes, sir. Ending the turn. Yeah. Oh yeah, well. Oh well, we intercepted two or three or, or something. Artemis is taking damage. Oh, the left side is through. Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, well. Now, you guys. Shooting missiles at that one. The Vipers are failing today. The Vipers are failing. The Raticon is in trouble. We are we don't see it yet, but she is. Um Bracing for impact. Turning around like so. Still shooting at this guy. All adamants. I need you to chew through the Revenant, but fire missiles at, well, no, also the Revenant there. Well, the Manticore is shooting at the Arachne, but is also shooting missiles at the Revenant. So, and then this lower uh, Arachne here is sneaking in, and these are the, yeah. the nasty elite unit. They are the elite. However, with you guys, so I hope that we can actually maybe shoot down with the broadside like so. Yeah. Should we actually? I think we the uh, the adamants should probably shoot down at this one. Yeah. Although no, no, no. We are we are doing this as we need to shoot the uh, the revenant down as quickly as possible, and then everyone will focus on this arachne here anyway. So ending the turn. Come on! Don't explode the Artemis. Artemis is taking damage. Yeah. Artemis is under pressure. But presenting her back and bottom now. Okay, good. Well, then we're just turning around. Okay, so. Revenant has been exploded. Viper still failing to destroy, to destroy the Arachne there. That's really not good. Viper, uh, Ara uh, uh, Adamant's coming around. Now it's time to shoot down at this one. Focus fire. Rangers. Shooting down at this Arachne. Artemis. 
still bracing for impact. Right side is not as open. Shooting there, firing missiles also at this one. Manticore, surprisingly untouched, is shooting there to help the Vipers. And actually let's fly like so, so we can use our back turrets, cause we do have two, two turrets in the back, there they are, while well, we only have one frontal turret for some reason. Someone thought that uh, the Manticore would fly away a lot, right? So here we go. That is actually not good, what we see here, the rear, yeah. Are we actually flying? We should fly lower, like this. Vipers, come on. Blow that arachne out of the sky. Ending the turn. Missiles incoming! Okay, Artemis. They are good. Arachne. The elite arachne is under pressure now. Are we not shooting at them? Why are we not shooting? Full defense. Mode, we can cancel the flag. The full defense mode, what's our range here? They are in range. So we are switching on flag on the right, just in case. Turning lower yes, still, Commander. shooting at them. And the Vipers have still not exploded, these guys, but we lost some Vipers, I think to the Talon probably. Guys, what are you doing here? Today is the day of failure, huh? What's going on? Shooting missiles. Full broadside with the Rangers on the Talon. Like this. Focusing fire there. Manticore. Shoot down there. We really need them gone. All adamants. Concentrate fire on this Arachne here. And the Viper stay on target, ending the turn. Good. They are gone. Good. Double kill. Very nice, lots of missiles. Now the Talon realizes it's completely surrounded by enemies. Like literally from all sides, except from the upper and lower direction. Like three, uh, thanks to the three dimensionality of space. You shoot them as well. Well, actually everybody shoot the Talon. Focus fire, we can switch off the flag. Cancel flag, don't retreat. Yeah, we've been shot up a bit. But let's present the bro the forward guns there. Yeah, so. Ending the turn. Yeah, good. Well, that was messier than I thought. Heimerich, what did you think about that? What were you thinking? Well, I think we got a bit sloppy there, probably. So let's have a replay. Cocky, being cocky and sloppy there. Yeah, actually, the th things started out pretty nicely, actually, but the problem was that they did identify us and started to shoot the missiles. It was that uh, radar squadron that uh, sacrificed itself in all the fire of our ships uh, that boosted towards the Reticon and identified the Kabul ship, or possibly all of them. And they were rather, they were rather close. I didn't expect them to, to get that close. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, like if our guys did not hit them properly or something. Because we blew the first two Arachnids out of the sky pretty nicely, didn't we? There. First kill. 
But we probably should have uh, concentrated fire on the elite first. So I think uh, the target the target choice was not ideal with the missiles. Because the elite is evidently more powerful. But I thought that it would be easier to shoot down at, uh, at it with the, with the ship guns. But uh, we are there. Not sure if it's actually a good idea to shoot the main batteries at little uh, radars. Yeah, well, and they did, they did uh, maneuver nicely, actually. Like, after the third one. So the first two, we took out pretty nicely, actually. There, nice dogfight. Caught them by surprise. At least to a degree. There. Yeah, and then I should I shouldn't have repaired or tried to repair the Vipers. <clears throat> I overestimated the speed that we could do that with. Uh, So I guess like only a carrier versus carrier battle, well, then then it would be useful, I guess. So yeah, luck wall is up. Forward batteries. I didn't I didn't see the uh, the Rangers forward batteries fire too much, but maybe we see something now. There. I see both sides. There. Batteries destroyed the first revenant. Yeah, okay, so forward batteries short. I, I used them, and that's why I uh, flew the rangers straight ahead uh, in hopes of using the higher range. So I didn't pound them earlier. Of firepower on the revenant. Yeah, well, and the Nemosini uh, was pretty much ignored during this fight, wasn't she? Like after we got rid of the raiders. But yeah, I mean, there were more important uh, targets, like also strategically. It was more important for them to destroy our bigger ships, especially the Reticon. But they didn't manage to, and that was the last talent, so... What do you hear? Nothing but the rain, sir! Excellent. Grab your, the cat, uh, grab your gun and bring in the cat. Right, so let's proceed. Everybody is al already elite. Gisela. Giselle has to deal with the nuisance of 2,000 metric space tons or gravitational space units. But what happens there, we will see in the next episode. That is Icarus. Well, it was time that we disturbed the Cylons there, so they were undisturbed there for quite a long while. So let's see what we can actually find. Maybe we can bomb some facilities or something, a production facility or something. But we'll see. So, thanks for, for the uh, attention. Um, I hope you liked it. If you have any thoughts, feelings, tips and tricks, please do share them in the comment section. You know you're always welcome to do so. And I would appreciate it greatly if you could, uh, could consider to click the like button right now and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. You know that's the currency of YouTube to keep this thing going. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.